guys, so today we are talking even more Sims. Who knew that a channel based on The Sims would talk about Sims? Now today, today I am trying something new. I don't, I don't think I've seen anybody else do it, but there's a first for everything. Today I'm gonna say what I wish they would add it in packs. So, you know, we have the stuff, we have the packs and everything. But, what should have they added? You know, there's a lot of random objects in Sims games that just shouldn't exist. But they do. Sorry to hear background noises. So today, we are talking about what should have they added? Let's do it. Starting with stuff packs. Luxury party. They should have just added some more stuff to really make the parties look very luxurious like those blue boxes things they don't that doesn't look luxurious at all it looks just very like you paint it like a cardboard box and you were like oh it glows because it's glow paint <sighs> okay yeah we need like more luxury actual party stuff like that's what we need and that's what we should get don't you agree next thing perfect patio it's kind of, it's great the way it is, but, listen up folks, it's very important, but, you know, they just shouldn't have added hot tubs with the 20th anniversary, because that was the main selling point of Perfect Patio, and now, there's no reason. Like, I just wish there was more to do now, because, like, they added a lot of stuff. Maybe combine Perfect Patio with the Backyard Pack. Like, that would have been perfect together. So, maybe if they would have made it, like, a really special stuff pack, but not a game pack, it'd still be a stuff pack. But, it would, they would be together. And so, that covers the backyard stuff and the perfect patio. Cool kitchen. They did a pretty good job. I wish there was more kitchen stuff, because, like, you know, they could have done, they could have added more stuff. For kitchens like our kitchens still look pretty bland I mean like there's only once in a while where we actually get some cool kitchen stuff so yeah that's how I feel about that spooky um there's really nothing to add anymore because that's already with a uh... yeah see that's already with um, seasons now so we don't it's weird it's but it's super cool like it it brings some great costumes so I guess more stuff to actually do like I know the whole point of the stuff pack is only to have limited items but think about that just think let's think about it okay let's scroll back scroll down the list and it's not letting me scroll. Okay. Now, I already talked about backyard stuff. That should have been with Perfect Patio. I already said it. Let's not repeat anything. Kids room. I guess just more stuff for the kids to do. Like, it, it came with a lot of great stuff, but it would have been really cool to see some more, even more, like, posters. Because, like, modern-day kids' rooms, like, they're they're filled with, like, cubbies like that. They have, like, knickknacks. Like, it would have been so cool if they just added some more knickknacks. Romantic Garden... I guess add more to the actual romantic gameplay because it's not do the plants really give you that romantic aspiration like no it doesn't so who cares movie hangout i guess the movie movie theater lot that no that that would have been really cool like if they added a movie theater lot and your sims could own a movie theater that could also came with Get Famous, but if your Sims could own a movie theater and all of that, that would have been so cool. Or just the basic theater and, like, watch some movies. 
then again, that would be too much to like the celebrity back. I forget what it's called. Get famous, I mean. Not backyard. Vintage glamour. More glamorous things. I mean, like, it, it does a lot, but, you know, it doesn't do too much. Um, just vintage glamour. You don't really, like, it comes with a lot of great things, so I guess it's pretty good, actually, as it is. So, thank you, Simpson. Bowling night. It's, it's pretty good, but wouldn't it be cool if they actually gave us, like, a bowling lot instead of being a nightclub? Because, like, my Sims don't go to nightclubs. And the bowling alley, it would have been cool if they gave you screens, too, because that's, that's what real bowling alleys do. And if they actually took the time, kind of made it a mini game of sorts. Like, wouldn't that be cool or something? I think so. Tell me in the comments below. <laughs> I just know, joking. Uh, I just sound like every other YouTuber now. Fitness. I guess they should add it. Like, I don't know if they did add this. Personal trainer? I forget. See, that's how memorable it is. Um, but I do wish they would have had, like, membership gyms. Like, gyms that you actually had to pay for to get in. Like, maybe it was just a little, like, button where you're like, you have to pay money to go here or not. Because that would have been, like, like real life. Because not all gyms are, like, free. In fact, most gyms nowadays aren't free. So, it would have been great to actually see something new and exciting and all of that. Like, you have to pay to do this gym. Um, I guess more items that aren't in the game. Like, we don't have a rope climbing thing. Like, that would have been so cool. They could have actually took the effort to do that. Top their stuff. I guess, um, practice more work with the ball pit. <laughs> Make it even better than it already is. Um, make, maybe if the playdates could invite just random, like, toddlers, like, and non-playing people, like, well, no, none of the simps are playing, but, like, just fake players, I mean, not fake players, fake toddlers to bring to your playdates, because I'm going to be honest with you, like, none of my toddlers have friends, so it'd be cool if playdates came with, like, some fake toddlers that we could pretend were the actual toddler's friend, but it's fine, and you could always turn it on and off. Now, laundry day. Laundry, laundry day. It's one of the new, newer ones. Laundry day? I guess more, see, we asked for eco lifestyle. Like this was kind of the vote that the EA people took to make the eco lifestyle thing. But the launcher day one, I guess more to do with the eco lifestyle, like maybe even like new, new stuff that actually fits that. Like it would have been cool. Like if, Laundry day, I don't know. Laundry day is pretty okay. It's just, I wish there was more of a reason why you would have to, like, do all this. Like, why do you need to do laundry in The Sims? Anyway, my first pet stuff. It just shouldn't have existed, or it should have been with cats and dogs. Easy. Mos, I can't say it right. I never can. Moschino. No, still not saying it right. Let's just call it Mosquito. <laughs> no. Um, you know, that pack, all about fashion, but the clothes aren't really that good. I guess add some better clothes. <laughs> Tiny Living. Okay. Get ready for a rant. Tiny Living should have just came with ladders. They should have came with ladders. It should have came with ladders. How come we have to buy a... $40 pack to get another ladders, which we should have already gotten with Tiny Living. Of course, it's going to come in the base game. The ladders are coming with the base game, but it should have came with Tiny Living or steps with cubbies in them. I guess just <laughs> rant over. I guess just add more tiny elements like stairs with storage in them. Like, you can't really do that in The Sims. Like, you can't really do that. Uh, well, we 
are done with stuff packs, let's head on up to game packs, starting at the way beginning with Outdoor Retreat. Okay, I just, I guess, make, maybe if they came with summer camps, like, that would have been cool, like, have a summer camp element, because it would have been really cool. That's all. Just add a summer camp with that. Uh, Cause that I want I want my kids to go to summer camp. But anyway, spa day. Pretty good, I guess. I wish that. I kind of wish that the spa day elements would go into outdoor retreat. So it could be like, hey, you can own your own spa. I wish resorts came. Okay, just make that an expansion pack. The spa and outdoor retreats, and just make it an expansion pack. And make it so you can run your own place. That's what should have happened. Dine out. I guess make it so that. Because like. Make food trucks. That that would have been so cool. No kidding. We need food trucks in The Sims. Also. Why do we need a host station? Some restaurants. Like I said. Like smaller restaurants. Don't have a host station. They just have a cashier. And they're like. Hey. What do you want? Like I want like fast food places maybe even like a fake drive through window like i know it wouldn't really work because sims don't have cars vampires i guess give me a better reason to use them like give me a backstory to these vampires you know something cool to tell me why on earth should i have a vampire in my house um yeah, that's about it. Just give me a reason to play with vampires. Like, it kind of got old after a while. Maybe, like, make it so that you could die if you don't have... Like, maybe it's a competition or something because you want to be the leader. I don't know. Just give me more game elements that everybody really, really wants. Okay, Parenthood. Make it an expansion pack and make it like Sims 3 Generations. That's all I'm going to say. Jungle Adventure. I don't know. Maybe if they would have set it up like... I don't know. Jungle Adventure got old. Like, maybe there could be different versions of the map. Like, maybe if you've already completed it once, maybe you go back again, but there's different temples. Like, that would have been cool. So, it doesn't get over really fast. In fact, you have, like, different temples each time. So each time you go back, the temple changes. Strangerville, I guess, I guess if it was strange, I guess Strangerville, what, what did Strangerville need? Maybe if it actually made like RVs, I was saying, like back to the food trucks, like make, make it so that you can actually live in an RV or something. Cause like not everybody lives in a blue suburban mansion. Let's just say that. Realm of Magic, um, maybe fix the bugs. Also, make it so that you can live in the magic world too, because let's face it, the human sims world is super weird already, so it's not really Realm of Weird and magic stuff, so let's think about that. Booyah, got that done really fast. Expansion packs, okay, let's get ready for this. Okay, The Sims 4, Eco Lifestyle. I don't know. Kind of wish that Launcher Day and Tiny Living could have made up that. And they could have gave, gave an Eco Lifestyle earlier. Just already, just put Launcher Day and Tiny Homes in Eco Lifestyle. So that it was like a full, complete Eco Lifestyle. <sighs> I don't know. Get to work get to work. I guess add more careers like firefighters and other jobs that like you can actually do. Like wouldn't that be cool? There's not just your average retail owner, not your average just medical police officer, all of that. No, you actually can do something like different. Like have a firefighter. <laughs> I don't know, maybe have a like super boring office job. No, I'm joking. That already comes with the game. Get Together. My favorite expansion pack. 
Okay. I guess just more of the world. It's a pretty big world already. Just more. More of it. It's, I guess... I guess make it so, like, clubs actually do, like, have elite status in the town. And maybe the town of Windenburg, like other neighbors can grow with you. I know we already did this in a community voted, vote, community voted thing, but maybe if like the town kind of had drama, all of that, since clubs can be filled with drama. So I guess more drama. Uh, city living, make us build the apartments. Like that would have been so cool if you could actually make the apartments, but nope, Sims team doesn't want that. It could have been a special wall like to decide what each apartment is. Then you had no, more the normal walls on the inside. Like that would have been so cool. Cats and dogs? I guess give me more animals. Like sure we have cats, dogs, badgers, foxes, but it would have been cool if we could get some like reptiles and snakes and like my first pet stuff should have been included with cats and dogs. Easy. Just make that a part of cats and dogs. Like, that would have been cool. So, ca cats and dogs could be... All of the stuff from my first pet stuff and cats and dogs should have been together. Okay? Easy, simple. Add some more small pets. Okay. Where were we? Cats and dogs? Seasons. Make it an option to not have holidays. Like, no holidays. Like, you can exit all the holidays out, but there's, like, surprise holidays, too. So, make it... And maybe, like, you can, like, choose, like... Maybe what religion your sim's in. Like, maybe your sim is into Judaism and all of that. So, I guess that would have been cool. Get famous. It would have been so cool if they could just completely go with that get famous thing maybe like get bigger the youtube thing it's not big enough you need to have a big youtube thing maybe you maybe you yes i'm talking to you maybe you can own a performing arts place or like a theater like a real theater and you could like maybe write your own plays and everything and then it doesn't have to be like that it can just be sims just talking but it would have been cool if you could run like a performing arts studio thing. That's what we need. Not some, like if they announce an expansion pack that pretty much does that, I'm going to be like, hey, you're ripping us off. That should have came get famous. Now let's talk island living. Okay. Like I said about spa day and outdoor retreat, island living should have been where you control your own hotel. You can do your own resort. Like That's what we need. That is what we need. Okay, Discover University. It's pretty good. I love the hairs. I love everything. But I wish it would have been... I wish that you could do something. I don't know how to say it. I wish that it would have been easier for, like, Sims. Because, like, I don't know. What should, oh, I know what Discovery, Discovery University should have had. Pool tables. We had pool tables in The Sims 3. How hard is it to make a pool table? We have a foosball table, but we don't have a pool table. That doesn't make sense. And I guess add more Ikea furniture. Like, add like a dresser where you open it up. No, an armoire where you open it up. Have like more Ikea stuff. But don't call it Ikea stuff. Well guys, that seems to be all of the packs so far in The Sims. There might be a part two when we get another pack. And we can really go down on eco living. Like I said in my last video, the, the, the video before, the last video, but the one before that. Like I said, will eco living be good? We will decide in part two. Anyway, see you later. And, you know. Peace out.